the Germans. It's cold, wet, and muddy. We need to think of a plan. Going on foot will simply not work. Strong. Well, the Germans are approaching, and I've no idea what we're going to do. Our soldiers are struggling to maintain territory, and I feel we're going to slip up. I asked the uh, general for some intel on where the trenches are. Hopefully he hasn't lost his life. What's that? Have you got it? Yeah, here. Yeah. This is the situation we're in right now. Interesting. The Germans are approaching Hill 60. These are the most threatening trenches towards Hill 60. We've got here, here, and here. That means we want to focus our defenses here, here, and here. I say we use tanks to disable the most three vital trenches of the German Empire. We can't do that. It's not possible. We can't use tanks. The water between the particles of clay has now frozen due to being so cold. The one is too brittle to carry anything over a sun. Our whole battalion can't move at once, which means we can't launch a full-scale attack. I've got another strategy. How about we go underground and we build a vast network of underground chambers. We fill these chambers with explosives and blow the whole thing up. What's the whole point of blowing up Hill 60 after all this? It's Keep in mind of the end goal. It's Zeebrugge, not Hill 60. Although Hill 60 is only 49 meters high, it allows you to see all over Flanders. If we blow it up, what was the point of fighting for it in the first place? Instead of going underground or overground, we take to the skies. We're going to take two bomber planes and strike. We're going to strike here and here for maximum damage. What do you guys think? Das ist eine 